All right, we may have a new favorite OE color. And it's the 46V we're shooting today. It looks a lot like 41V, and you guys know that's my favorite OE color. So we shot that one a while back, and now we're gonna shoot the 46V. And I'm looking forward to shooting this one because I haven't done it yet. So let's go ahead and shoot this one here and see if this is now my new favorite candy from the uh, OEM line. ready to go we're gonna seal this one and we're gonna produce this nice 46 V three-stage candy from Mazda guys I'm really looking forward to this one so let's go ahead and get it done We're gonna to go to the base and on this one here it's different than the 41V. It's got more of a goldish rose color copper base color like the old PPG version of 41B. And uh, it looks like it's because it needs it to be more vivid and pop more than the 41V. And I would like this one because it's got a real fine metallic in it so it's gonna glow more than it's gonna sparkle. So let's go ahead and put the base coat down and uh, see where we're at with it. color and uh, this one here is gonna get me in training for my candy on the cutlass we're gonna walk this one out just like if we're doing a real candy because this is really almost a true candy color the way this one is with this copper gold uh, base coat so you got to be careful what you do in this kind of a job every move you make could make it darker or lighter or streak it so it's not as crucial as a real UK candy but it will have the same characteristics if you get a little crazy with the gun so we got to walk this one out let's let it flash and see where we're at with it all right we're all flashed off and i didn't tell you guys of course i'm using the 3m gun with a one two in it for this uh, ground coat we put two back-to-back -back coats on it and i checked it with the light it's covered already so we're going to go ahead and do a drop coat because i don't want to just keep piling more and more water on this car that way it'll take longer to dry because we still have to do the uh, mid coat on it. So we got two back to back. We're gonna go ahead and do a drop control coat, orientation coat, and uh, get it all even. And then we'll be moving on to the candy. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this one all done. I have a feeling this thing's gonna be glowing in here. So like I told you guys before, this is the first time I've done the 46 uh, V. I've done the 41 V a lot of times, but I never did run into this one and it's definitely got a cool glow with that 90-40 fine uh, 
almost like a round silver dollar flake so it doesn't sparkle a lot it's got a glow to it and i like that a lot with the candy color so let's go ahead and uh, put one drop on it the candy coat and we're using a 3m gun with a 1.4 and we're going to be spraying this one at about 20 psi i want to break up this mid coat that way it goes on there nice and even so let's go ahead and put the first coat of that on i'm going to walk it and let's see if i could walk it like i talk it walking it out but we got it on there so far so good with the first coat and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more we're looking like by the judge of this I'm gonna be putting on about four to five coats of this here uh, candy on this one being it's got that copper base on it but we'll let this set up here and kick and I'll see where we're at with it definitely need more but uh, we're going to take it nice and slow. We don't want to blotch it, streak it. And we want this one to come out nice. Because this is uh, how it's going to be when I do the real candy. So let's go ahead and put coat two on. and we're starting to get somewhere now it's even and out and it's starting to get more uh, red so look how pretty that color is I'm getting real excited getting ready to do that uh, cutlass because these are these vivid colors we're gonna let this flash off and it looks like I'm gonna put another two on it just so I know I'm good and uh, we're going with the standard I sprayed a card for it standard looked good it had that nice fine metallic which this has and this is a beautiful color so this may be my new favorite it's, it's going towards this one here the 46v all right let's put code three on and see where we're at when i did my card i put four coats of the candy on so that's what i'm aiming for but I want to see how it looks with the uh, three coats on it also. So let's go ahead and put three. And we're gonna put one more on it, like I said, with four coats, cause that's what my spray out card uh, looked good with. You guys know how I do them with the uh, ground coat. There's two, there's three, and there's four on there. So four looks good, we checked it. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that final coat of candy on. And then we'll be clearing this one here with the uh, DV1 of course. So looks really nice what a beautiful color this is and wait till we clear it so go ahead and give this one a thumbs up when i clear it because i know it's going to be worth it what a heck of a color this is so and i know on camera it really looks good so let's go ahead and uh put one more to candy and clear this one always check the uh, tail end of your blend so that that gold doesn't go further than your candy and I learned that about 20 years ago with the laser red because that had a real copper base. All right, we're going 
down to the clear and we're using the DV1 with the C1 on it. I want to gloss this one out because these Mazdas are pretty slick. So C1, CC200, US4, UH90, 23 PSI with two coats. And you guys will see this one uh, all said and done here in a minute. One coat, I went ahead and walked the clear out. That way I don't get any mapping around my edges. And on the second coat, I'll do it panel for panel. And I get away with that a lot because it doesn't map on every uh, coat because you're walking out the first coat. So I'll put that coat on like that. And then the second one, I'll go panel for panel. And then we'll see this thing all said and done. But so far it's looking beautiful. And I don't know, this may be a nice color on the Cutlass, who knows? But we got that House of Colors UK4 coming, the brandy wine. I ordered two quarts. That way, if I like it, I'm ready to do the jams with it. So let's go ahead and clear this one and see how it looks all finished up. color that is so I think 46 V is now my favorite color in the OEM so I love that fine metallic because instead of sparkling it glows the candy so let's uh, check it out one more time came out really clean and I'm real happy with it beautiful color give this one a thumbs up guys And we'll see you this weekend at the house while we're doing the blocking on the cutlass. So see you next time.